Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Kelly, and in this video, I'm gonna be injecting my monthly dose of Ajovi, which is a medication for treating migraine preventatively, treating chronic migraine specifically. And if you're interested in learning about all of that, I have another video which you can check out and I describe everything in detail, some of my experience with migraine, but also I go into detail about this new class of medication that came out in 2018 of the calcitonin gene-related peptide, CGRP inhibitors, anti-CGRP or CGRP antagonist. So I'm going to show you guys this injection and what this is like. I also filmed my experience with Amivig. I'm going to be putting out that in a separate video so you can see what the injection of Amivig is like because it's different. Amivig has two different doses. Ajovi has only one dose. It is administered differently. So while they're both subcutaneous, Amivig is an auto injector and Ajovi you have to inject it yourself. I'll make sure to link the video once I have that video out. Make sure you check in the description. I'll also put it up in the i card with where whichever one it is. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that one. Um, I'll I'll it it where one is. Anyway, let's do the fun process of injecting myself for another month. So this is the box, and it's just a plain old box. Basically, you rip it open like this, and these are the instructions. The instructions are extremely important. I always review them, even though I've been taking this for over a year. So it has two different things. I just pulled them apart. This one is the more detailed version that are about the research. It's interesting, but not necessary. This one is the instructions for using a Jovi. This is the one that I review every single time because I only take it once a month. And it's really exhaustive, but excellent. Look at this huge color-coded thing. The green is what to do, the red is what not to do. Get Educates you all about the syringe, shows you exactly where you can inject, and it shows you exactly how to inject. So it's very, very helpful. I'm going to be showing you how I inject it, but that doesn't mean that you should follow how I inject it. Listen to your doctors and your nurses. After taking out the instructions, there is this little thingy, and it's perforated. And there's the Ajovi. It says don't shake this or drop this. You don't want to create air bubbles in it. It is kind of hard to pull out. There we go. So here is the syringe itself. Now one thing that I think it's important to note, this is the expiration date right there. It can get confusing because there is another date on it. It says right there, revised in 2018. That is not the expiration date, that's different. In this video, I wanna make sure that you guys understand what I like to understand when I do injections, and maybe you're just curious about what an injection like this is like. One of the first things that I do when I do this injection specifically, I open up my, this is my needle thing. And actually, Amavig sent this. I screwed the lid on here. The reason that I open it up, especially for this injection, is because you cannot recap this injection. The reason is because it's such a small needle and it's such a small cap, they're worried that you will stick yourself and infect yourself, basically, which you just don't want to stick yourself again for any reason with the needle that you've already used. Once I've given it to myself, I immediately will put it in and go clunk. I have a crop top on so you can see where I'm injecting in my abdomen. All right, folks, so I am going to wash my hands. This is part of, part of it. Thanks. I have a towel that is designated for hands only. I'm gonna show you the injection standing up. So I have an alcohol prep pad. I also have a cotton round sitting next to me so that if I need it, I can use it. That's only if it starts to bleed a little bit. So I'll let you see that and here we go. So you saw in that the packet that it does talk about the different areas you can give it. Uh, I give it to myself in my abdomen because it's the easiest and it's a place I don't give myself an injection otherwise. I'm gonna give it to myself over here. And, oh, you can see other little red marks actually. I'm gonna give it myself over here because there's no red marks. All right. So I'm supposed to be two inches away from my belly button at least, so I think I am. I'm gonna do what I always do, if you've seen my other videos, is start in the center, clean the center, and then circle on out. 
Okay, and then I'm gonna wait for it to air dry. I'm not gonna do this or anything because I don't wanna wave any dirt onto it. It's important that it air dries. So we're going to take off the cap straight, which is, this is a really snug cap. So I try to pull off as straight as possible. Oh, goodness, I'm gonna throw that away. Okay, so I'm going to pinch up right here. I'm gonna give myself the injection. I do a darting motion because you want it to go through painlessly. If you go slow, you're gonna cause a lot more pain. So it's just a lot less painful if you go fast. There you go. Man, that did, my skin is thick there. Sometimes I feel like I lost it. That's weird. So the key for this injection specifically is I push slowly. The reason I push slowly is because, and I want you to see, I don't know if you guys can see, there's an air bubble right there. That's okay. I know I can't go on my own. You came so I wouldn't have to go it alone. You took the long road so you could show me. In this injection, I don't pull back like in other injections to see if there's blood return at all. That's not part of my process. But in this injection, it's slow. Pushing it in slow is the key. It actually has a lot of resistance because of the amount of putting in. So I just do it slowly. Even when I'm down in the darkness, you call my name out loud. You should think I had to do it on my own, but I'm never alone now. Until the plunger gets to the bottom, which you can see that gray thing's almost there. So now I've injected everything in and I'm going to take it out as fast as I pulled it in. I'm going to put it directly into my... I have a cotton round. You can see a little droplet. You can see a little droplet came back out, but I don't put any pressure on it because I don't want to push the rest of it out. So if it were bleeding, I would gently put it on here and gently dab it. But it's not. You can see it's not coming out at all. That's just how I see you got everything. That's just what I need every single day. You keep me breathing. My heart keeps believing that. So get a good look at what the injection site looks like there. Even when I'm down in the darkness, you call my name out. You call me my name out. Okay, well that's weird. More is coming out. More of the medication is. It's probably normal just to have a little bit come out. So basically, if I were sitting in this room by myself, I would have given my injection to myself just sitting down. But I did it standing up because when I'm sitting down, that place is kind of all compacted and I wanted you to have a clear view of it and I feel like it's harder to get the camera in there. That's basically it. The great thing about this is I have not had any adverse reactions to it. I have had an injection site reaction, but nothing that's severe, very mild. Usually after about 10 minutes, I will get like this little light red ring around the injection site. It gets a little bit maybe puffy, but aside from that, it's all right. This one is already starting to get a little bit puffy still oozing a little bit which is fine i mean i could put a band-aid on this if i wanted to it's already a little bit inflamed in the injection site i'm going to show you so you can kind of see there that it's getting a little bit inflamed in that area and it wasn't inflamed like that before that circle around the injection site is just going to continue to get more and more intense. This medication is not painful at all. It's actually very easy considering I've given myself hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands, injections for my migraine disease. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you all in my next video. Do all the things, subscribe, hit the bell, leave a comment if you have any questions. Like the video for whatever reason. <laughs> I know, I'm crazy. I am Kelly, not crazy, and you are not alone. See you guys in my next video. Bye! Used to think I had to do it on my own, but I'm never alone.